Hi everyone, my name is Roel Dionisio and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure VLANs on a Cisco switch and then verify that information. So when we talk about configuring VLANs, VLANs are a layer 2 broadcast domain and I'm going to show you a little diagram on, on what this means. And so if we have a switch here and I'll call it net switch 01. And in this switch, we have a PC connected to this, so PC1. And let's say we have another PC connected here called PC2. And then on the switch, we configure a VLAN, and let's just call this VLAN 100. I have now created a single VLAN, and then that is a layer two broadcast domain on that switch. Let's say then we configure a second VLAN, VLAN 101, we have now created a second broadcast domain on the switch. The, the VLANs are a way for network engineers and administrators to segment the network and place devices on specific VLANs. And then those VLANs are often tied to specific subnets. And then you would need some sort of layer three routing protocol to connect those devices, those communications together and so they can route out to the internet as well. But in this video, we're strictly gonna talk about layer two and configuring VLANs on this switch. So if we go to my switch, right next to me here to my right, I have a Cisco Catalyst 3560 CG. It is a 12 port switch. So if I could do show interfaces brief, show interfaces status actually, then we can see that I have 10 ports here. Uh, I don't know why I said 12. It's a 10 port switch and we have one device connected to it, port one, and you can see it's on VLAN one. So why is it connected to VLAN one? If we do show run interface and then the interface name, we can see that it's pretty much a default configuration. This is a clean slate here. So the next step is to see what is configured on this switch. So if I do a show VLAN brief to see what VLANs are configured, I can see that we just have the default VLAN, which is VLAN one. And you can see every single port is assigned to VLAN one by default. So now we want to configure a VLAN. So let's say you were asked to configure a VLAN and you want to, uh, this, this VLAN is going to be uh, where hosts are connected to, okay? So now we go to configuration mode, and you're going to use the statement VLAN, and then the VLAN number. And I want to, say, create VLAN 100, and then we'll hit enter. We've now created a VLAN on this switch. And the most useful thing you can do here is give it a name, and give it a descriptive name, okay? So we'll call it building hosts, and then I'll hit enter. So now if we go back and issue the show VLAN brief command, we can see that there is now a VLAN 100 configured there in the VLAN database. And the VLAN database is a file that's kept on the switch, which has all the VLAN configuration kept on it. You can see that if you run a show flash, or is it show flash? There it is. And you'll see that there's a vlan.dat file there. That's the VLAN database. So now we want to configure this VLAN or assign it to an interface, that first interface that we have. So we go back into configuration mode and then go into the interface configuration mode. So interface and then interface name. And then here is where we were gonna we are going to type in the VLAN assignment. And that is started with switch port access and then VLAN and the VLAN number. So switch port access VLAN 100 and I'm gonna hit enter. But we're not gonna stop there because we wanna configure this as an access port. And in order to do that, we do switch port mode access and then hit enter. So now that port is operating as an access port. By default, it is operating as, uh, as a dynamic port. So it could either be an access port or a trunk port. And in this case, we want to statically set this as a switch port mode access or an access port. So now if we go back and do a show VLAN brief, you can see that the, the first interface there, interface one, is part of the VLAN 100 in the VLAN database. 
We could further verify this by running a show run interface and then the interface name. And you could see the configuration of switch port access VLAN 100 and also the switch port mode access. Now, what's another way to verify this? One of my favorite commands is show MAC address table and then interface and the interface name. This will show you or give you an output of the MAC address that the switch learned and then tell, tell you which VLAN that MAC address is on. And as you can see here, it's on VLAN 100. So that's how you configure a VLAN and then assign a, a, a data access port to that VLAN. What about the voice VLAN? Now voice VLANs are different. They carry voice traffic. And so in order to do that configuration, we go back to the VLAN database in configuration mode and type in your new VLAN. So let's say it's VLAN 101 and I will name it VoIP and hit enter. Then I will go back to an interface which will ha that has a phone configured on that, for example, and then we'll go interface and the interface name. And the, the command that's different here is switch port, voice, and then VLAN, and then the voice VLAN number. Switch port voice VLAN 101. And if we look at that configuration, show interface G01, show run interface, we can see that there is a new statement in there, switch port voice VLAN 101. Now in the Cisco world, you'll have CDP enabled. And when that Cisco phone is plugged into that port, that it'll learn that the voice traffic should be placed on the VLAN that is defined for the voice VLAN. So there you have it. You have your VLAN configuration and your, your interface access port configured for the VLAN and also the voice VLAN. If you have any questions about VLANs and the configurations at all, leave a comment down below in the video and I will answer them uh, as quickly as I can. And if you're interested in learning more for the CCNA certification, the brand new one, the 200-301, this video is part of a series in training you for that certification and passing that exam. So here it is, that's the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I hope you see you on the next video. Thank you.